1989 Abbott Ford International Air Show. The 1989 Abbotsford International Air Show, like no other show on earth. Three days of spectacular flying acts. Thunderbirds, Snowbirds, MiGs, Hornets, Phantoms, Lancaster Bomber, Antonov AN-225, Wingwalkers, Royal Albanians, Ray-Ban Gold. The 1989 Abbotsford International Air Show, truly the best flying show in the world. Opening day for the show always welcomes some very distinguished guests, and this year was no exception. Prime Minister Brian Mulroney attended both Air Show Canada and the Flying Show yesterday, and to him was given the honour of opening this weekend's events. I am very pleased now to declare officially open this 28th edition of the Abbotsford International Air Show. Russians are here. For the first time, the Russian MiG-29s have set down on North American soil. The MiG looks very much like its American counterpart, the F-14 Tomcat. It is capable of better than Mach 2.3. Its maximum rate of climb at sea level is an amazing 65,000 feet per minute. Its first North American appearance, thanks to Airshow Canada, is the Antonov AN-225. This six-engine giant can carry payloads weighing up to half a million pounds. It is the carrier aircraft for the Soviet space shuttle Orbiter. The Russians also brought along a unique little aircraft, the Su-26M. This aerobatic competition craft is unique because of its rotary engine. Abbotsford gladly welcomes it along with all the other Russian performers to the 28th Abbotsford International Air Show.
forming a tasteful tongue-in-cheek parody of the more traditional military display teams and classic aerobatic air show acts, the Royal Albanians certainly shake up the skies. Full of showmanship and good humor, this team of formation flying Fruit Loops are a refreshing and entertaining addition to the Abbotsford International Air Show. Ultimate Jet Jockeys, the finest high-performance jet aerobatic team in the world. Thundering precision at 600 miles an hour. It's the United States Air Force Thunderbirds and their incredible F-16 Fighting Falcons. Over the last 36 years that the T-Birds have been active, their mission has always been to demonstrate the professionalism, technical skills and dedication that is developed in its people by the United States Air Force. Abbotsford is honored to have this distinguished team by giving this air show the only three-day demonstration on its tour this year. Abbotsford is doubly honored because it is the only Canadian stop for the Thunderbirds on their North American tour this season.
gun of Vietnam, the U.S. Air Force F-4 Phantom, still one of the quickest, most powerful fighting machines in the world today. It is a great privilege and pleasure for me to be here today to open Air Show Canada. And as I look around at all of the flowers and all of the things that have been done, I can well appreciate that a great deal of hard work has gone on into uh, organizing the event. Patrick Reed, as chairman of Air Show Canada, you have really taken the invitation to attend out to the world and just as you did for Expo, and we know it to be a tremendous success. And Ron Price, as president of Airshow, you and your staff have worked steadily for months to make this show a success, and I know it's going to be the best. Les Kerr, as chairman of the Abbotsford International Air, International Air Show, your famous flying show is helping draw crowds to the great community of Matsqui Abbotsford. We are now able to officially open the air show. We know this will become a regular international event, bringing people from around the world to show their product, product and to see ours. We are once again proving to the world that British Columbia is a great place to do business. It's a great honor to be here today to welcome our visitors and to congratulate everyone involved. Thank you. The Ray-Ban Golds are Canada's only civilian aerobatic team. Stunning aerial maneuvers and breathtaking ballet at average speeds of 185 miles per hour are magically performed for anxious air show audiences at Abbotsford's 28th International Air Show.
the flight of the snowbirds. It begins with the eerie appearance of twinkling lights that dance across the magnificent backdrop of Mount Baker. A series of maneuvers are performed as gracefully as a ballet and as volcanic as the mountains that back them. They have been acclaimed one of the most dynamic and beautiful military air demonstrations ever to grace the skies. This year's team leader, Major Dan Dempsey, tells us how the snowbird tradition began. Uh, it all started back in 1929. Uh, the first Royal Canadian Air Force aerobatic team was a team called the Siskins, and they flew uh, three biplanes. And then from there, uh, after the war years, uh, there were various small teams. I think really in Canada, uh, one of the best known teams started in 1959. They were called the Royal Canadian Air Force Golden Hawks. They flew uh, the F-86 Sabre. There was a solo performer who flew about the same time called the Red Knight. And then the, after the Golden Hawks were disbanded in 1964, it wasn't until 1967 that we had the Golden Centenaires, which flew for only one year, same aircraft that we're flying today, the Tudor. And that, of course, was to commemorate, commemorate our, our centennial year. Uh, they were shut down at the end of the 1967 season, and then it was finally the Snowbirds that started in 1971. So we're going into our 19th year this year. the fine tradition established by their forerunners and performing before millions across the continent. This is the Flight of the Snowbirds. Airshow 89 really has been a show like no other. Airshow Canada made its debut, all-time favorites were joined by a strong Russian delegation, and the Soviet aircraft really stole the show. Within weeks, Airshow staff and volunteers will be planning next year's event. Airshow Canada will be back in 1991. On behalf of the production crew at MSA Cable 3, I'm Jana Dealman. Thank you for joining us.
Channel 3's coverage of the air show is sponsored by the Royal Bank, Canada's leading bank. And by Seven Oaks Shopping Center, Abbotsford, in the heart of the valley. Conair Aviation Incorporated, a leader in specialty aviation. The Abbotsford Clearbrook Chamber of Commerce. Huntington Duty Free Shop, located at the Sumas Border Crossing. And by CFVR 850 and Star FM 105. Use of the Pinnacle 2020 effect system by special arrangement with Matrix Professional Video Systems Limited.